Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions to Chris and Nia. Today we're going to continue The Leftovers, Season 2, Episode 4, called The Orange Sticker. But first, well, what happened last episode? <laughs> we had the um, Tom and Lori episode. Mm -hmm. Very interesting episode. Um, she was writing a book. Um, she was also recruiting people to leave the GR. And to Tom, it started making sense. There's this weird scene with Meg, yeah. which I still don't get. Probably just a power move or like a threat, right? Mm -hmm. And um, at the end, they were just kind of like, they were so low that they had to resort to like the desperate move of Wayne him becoming up. Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Which, maybe uh, yeah, I don't get it. Maybe it was Meg's way of making it like personal to Lori. I think so, huh? Right? Um, but I'm assuming we're gonna go back to what's going on with Kevin Garvey in Miracle. Miracle. And yeah, what happened? Were we gonna get some answers as to why he was with he woke up tied in the with thing? The, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Where's the baby? She's panicked, yeah, because he's not there. Did it happen again? Are the people gone? He's there. Are they gone? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't so even think about that. Yeah. Now, where the fuck have you been? Because in one house, Evie's not there, and in her house, mm -hmm. he was not there. Punch She's him. pissed. How dare you. Oh, he's showering for once. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, I know so you're he's happy. <laughs> Make sure you wash your ass. Oh my god. And your feet. Fucking TikTok's got me like traumatized. They got the whole fucking town there. Has the pawn thing never happened? Or maybe it's because there's two people missing that they're like, hold on. Yeah. You walk up down there? Empty. Yeah. You should get down there. If someone else finds your phone, you can say you just locked it today. That's pretty fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I got you covered. Oh my god. Oh, his fingerprints. You? you dumbass. Dude. Yeah, hey. there it is. My neighbor. Oh, yeah, sure, John. Want to give us a hand? Yeah. Now you have to find your phone. Mm -hmm. Because they could think it's a clue. And they have his fingerprint and the other fingerprint. Yep. <laughs> the fake guy said it was too big to be one of the girls. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, God, these fucking what are they doing? Okay, we'll, we'll get them out of here. Oh my, what? Oh, they're are they there doing? to collect the water. It's literally a crime scene. I know. <laughs> what the fuck? The phone. Where's the fucking phone? Any luck? No. The phone turns up. Don't just say I dropped it today, you know, like you said. So I should just keep looking. That's probably a good idea. She's fucking pissed. <laughs> you guys better fucking talk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he scared her. Yeah. But, you know, it kind of makes sense that she's like that. Like, nothing will have her to not have his back, right? Because she will not lose another, like, person, partner, and family member. I got my wallet. Put it on my tail. You don't have to do that. Yeah, my pleasure. Consider it a gift from me to your boyfriend. Thank you, sir. I'm Nora. Virgil. Virgil. I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm -hmm. What? God damn it, Virgil. What did I tell you? Huh? You want to come in here? You can't do this shit. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry if I caused any distress. Nobody knows about them. Virgil does. I can tell you what happened to those girls, too. All you have to do is ask. I wanna know. God damn it, Kevin, just fucking talk to her. 
Why didn't you tell Nora about the whole cinder block tied around your ankle thing? You don't want to jump to conclusions. Scare her. I know what conclusion I'd jump to. <laughs> oh, you're on goddamn fire. Is it? Yeah. There it is. So she knows some things. Yes, she does. Hmm? You still here, man? Yeah. No, I just, um, I lost my phone when I was out here earlier today. Hop in, I'll give you a ride. Oh, snap. Don't touch no, anything. Yeah. Uh, Nora was gonna come back, swing around, pick me up. Hop in, man. I got you. Right, touch the car. Go. God damn it, Kevin. You left your Garvey all over the fucking. Phone. We live back there. Where's he going? Taking you for a ride. These fucking people wait for weeks to get in for ten hours just so they can buy a T-shirt. I think they're looking for more than a T-shirt. Yeah. Well, what are you looking for? Fresh start. You paid three million dollars for a house that's cracking apart just so you could live on the other side of that bridge. What you are looking for is to feel safe. Yes, that's what yeah, Nora's that looking for. Well, and a fresh start. Is that the fire truck? There was a palm print on the car that my daughter was in. Like it was left for me. A goddamn palm print. Yes. Lucky duck. Oh, they think it was the Isaac guy. Like a revenge thing. Yeah. Oh, man. My ex-husband was engaging in some pretty suspicious texting activity, and then he would leave late at night. So I followed him to a motel just like this one. So got out of my car, walked over to the room, Where's he and I took a peek. I love how she's just, she's still talking. She's taking a shit on him, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> what? Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, fucking He them. told oh. oh, you. Oh. Oh. Shit. Relax, get the fuck out of my room! You've been shot. You've been shot. You've been shot. Where is he? <laughs> my daughter. Whatever you're looking for. Get the fuck out of my room, John Murphy. He's telling you the truth, and I think he knows it. Mm -hmm. And he's been shot. Ain't nothing more dangerous than a man who don't believe in nothing. He's calling me out. I don't even believe in myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Gotta get you to a hospital, man. No. You're shot. You said before you do anything to help. I'll help. Hey! What? I'm John. Oh, These guys belong together. They're both a fucking mess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He found his partner in crime. Michael, the boy next door, he says his sister departed. She didn't depart. The sudden departure was a one-time only event. <clears throat> the flood happened three years ago on October 14th, and the ark took on all the animals it needed. Why in God's ark. name would it take? Yeah, that's the way she sees it? That's sad. Is it real? What? Huh? What? One of the only reasons we chose this place was because you said it was special. You told us we would feel safe here. Now I'm waking up to fucking earthquakes and, and missing teenagers. My boxes aren't even unpacked and it's the same goddamn thing I left. Mary woke up. What? What? The very first night we were here. The last thing she remembered was the accident, so I told her everything that happened since. Okay. We talked for hours. And we cried until we fell asleep in each other's arms. And when I woke up, she was like this again. Oh. What the heck? That would be a trip. I mean, well, like, if did it, it happened. Happen? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, the people in this town don't want me to talk about what happened. Maybe they don't believe me. Maybe you don't. And every day since, I've wondered if it's ever going to happen again. If I'll get a bag for good this time. But the one thing I've never wondered is if it's real. It's real. Is 
she's a believer now. So people found out about what happened here. There was a lot of confusion. And then there were claims. Claims that were untrue. John was in at the time. But when he came home and saw what was going on, he wasn't having it. There are no miracles a miracle. He gave you the speech. <laughs> okay. I know what people are saying. Just saying that something bad happened. <sighs> she's playing a joke and she's giggling in the woods. No one would ever want to hurt Evie. She would never want to hurt anybody else. Things are going to change now. Erica is something, huh? She gets the call, her husband's been fucking shot. She just pulls a bullet out. No questions asked. That's love. Not like what you got. <laughs> what you got, Kevin, isn't love. What? It's damage control. Your family blew up, Nora's family blew up. And now you're all just clinging on to each other because you need to cling on to something. <laughs> That's why she bought the She'll house. She'll snap and talk to her. If you loved them, you'd trust them enough to tell them about me. Yeah. If you loved them, you wouldn't lie. You shut the fuck up! I love my family. I love them. Someone's gonna hear him. Then why did you try to kill yourself? Oh. You walked out of your house in the middle of the night and you found a rope and a cinder block, and then you tied it to your ankle, and you threw it into a goddamn lake. <laughs> I mean, we kind of figured he had mm -hmm. to do it himself. There are people who try to commit suicide for attention, and then there are people who really want to fucking die. I think you really wanted to like fucking me die. and you. Damn. I'm sorry, Kevin, but these are not the actions of a man who loves his family. I don't want to kill myself. I'm just glad we finally talked about it. Damn, for real. Since you didn't seem to give a shit enough to ask me, I'll tell you. They vanished, the girls. What? What kind of vanished? Right by in their car, listen to their music, not a worry in the world. Then poof, gone. What? Okay. Mama was right. Things are gonna change, indeed. Oh my God. Got that patty with the fire. <laughs> what? Kevin, whatever happened to those girls, I know you didn't have anything to do with it. They fucking vanished. But I can't wake up alone like that again. I found these in the box with your uniform. <laughs> uh, that's one way to do it. I thought you were about to get freaky or something. <laughs> Damn. Look how scared she is. Yep. You better fucking show her some love. And then you try to like turn her around and you can't I even know, turn right? her. I mean, in the way their relationship's kind of sad. It's like too damaged so people i mean i trying to fix each other in some way i think i don't think patty was a hundred percent right but i think he does love, they, love them yes but they came together in a like a traumatic are they ever gonna find those girls i don't think so Damn. Is that like crickets? Looks like some scratching. What is she about to see? Oh. Oh. He Shit. thinks they departed. And he's not wrong. Shit, that was good. There, yep, that's the orange sticker. Uh, I thought it was like the little the wristband circle orange sticker from the convention that Nora went to. Oh, <laughs> 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 who's 
Excuse me. My eyes are hella glossy. It looks like I'm high or some shit. Yeah, I think I'm it's tired. the paint. The paint? They're like, what? The you guys paint. were sniffing paint? No. <laughs> that right there. We're painting our living room. It's like halfway done. <laughs> <laughs> high on paint. Um, yeah, okay. So, Michael, it seems like he knew it, right? Mm-hmm. He knew it. And Patty confirmed it. Chris. What? Oh, no, the cats are, like, looking at a specific spot, and it's, like, trippy. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, so Patty, <laughs> so Patty confirmed it. And um, this Patty, she seems to be right on the phone. She seems to be right. Um, I believe her when she said that they vanished. Because the yeah. car was closed. It wasn't like they were swimming in the pond and the doors were open to like listen to music. Yeah. They were. They, it looked like, you know, someone was sitting there and. Their phones were in there. Yeah. They doors vanished. were locked, right? I think. It's, Seemed like it. I think. I don't remember. Can't remember. But yeah, it just gave the impression that they were sitting there. Listening to music. So, what does this mean though? This town's gonna lose their shit just like the rest of the world did. But what does it mean? So the big event? The one that Nora basically was like, the Ark, what was it? Right? The one where everyone left? Why would he take more? Why? Why? Why would Noah take more animals? So they're going to have like sprinkling events? I don't know. If they did vanish, that means people are just going to keep going. And then that means that Nora... Oh, no, but she found that guy. She says she found him in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Never mind. But some of these claims, they might be real. But she it, thought her whole department was bullshit, probably. The second departure. I mean, probably at that point it was. Mm-hmm. But now, it isn't. What does this mean? Definitely got to, like, stay scared, but she has no idea what happened, so... She's not gonna know. And she like, but I don't even think Nora, Nora would like listen to that. I don't think even if someone was like, no, this place isn't safe. I don't even think she would take that as an answer. She'd be like, no, no, this place We're good has here. to be safe, right? Um, I do like uh John and Kevin. They're they're a good pair. <laughs> yeah, to they're both be getting into shit. Yeah. Um, but at some point. That. If yeah, that hamper might play a role to destroying their relationship, their mm -hmm. brand new relationship as friends. There's no way he can explain that. Even if he tries to explain it now, um, he's gonna look bad. He's gonna look yeah, suspicious. Um, I do think though, Patty was wrong with the whole like love thing like you know you don't do that if you love your family i think those two things are true he loves them he probably did try to off himself yeah yeah but why you think it's just the the sadness i don't know like a sadness i don't know he's always carried maybe from the start he's been like a very sad unhappy guy and I don't know, is it really connected to the family? You're I don't right. think so, because he's had, I mean, this is the second family that he has. He's got technically everything he wants, right? Again. Again. So I don't think yeah. it's connected to his family. Yeah. And but that, what, what would it be? And that could be it. It's the, like, maybe what's wrong with me? Look how, in some ways, in some ways, lucky. I had not only one amazing family at one time, I threw it away because I still wasn't happy. Then I have the second family, and I'm still, something's not right. Like, I'm done with this shit. And there's clearly something trying to, like, keep them alive, because why the heck would the water, like, the tremors go, happen, right? Mm -hmm. It drains the water out of the pond and saves his life, but at the same time takes these girls. 
Yeah. You think they're like sacrifices to save specific people? Wait, so you're saying you I mean, think the pond so, took but... them? Like, what do you mean? No, the pond like took the water to save took him. Took the water to save him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. But at the same time, these girls disappeared when he's being saved. And still here. And yeah. still here. See some kind of freaking angel. Yeah, that's maybe. To do like <laughs> some kind of. Well, maybe I don't he, know. he's like in some ways chosen, like his dad. They're he's him and True, his dad yeah. are meant to like have Patty and have other like voices guiding or talking to them. Um, and his dad believes in these voices. It's like they're right or like. And so far, they seem to be. Yeah. Right. Um, I don't really have anything else. I do feel for the, for the, um, for Michael. I think scraping off the sticker is going to really upset his family, and I would imagine oh, send yeah. the whole town into a panic. Right. I think the town's gonna panic no matter what. <laughs> if they don't find them soon. Yeah. And not just that, but also like. A whole lot of their attraction is this miracle and now they're not so how is that gonna affect how are the people outside of the town gonna react the ones that were trying to get in because it's almost like hope right yeah they go to all hope yeah so they are gonna lose their shit just fucking tear the whole town down and we have what erica said about john about when the October 14th, when it happened, he was still in prison. This Everything was a shit show. Um, there were people that were... The fake prophets or some shit. Yeah, or like, yeah, like everyone was kind of pulling in their own direction to make of this and what, you know, Miracle Texas is. And he came back... And he just was like, no, there's no miracles here. So it almost just like he's trying to he's trying to maintain miracle in a like, no, we're still in the real world. Yeah. Right. Which he's right. Since and they went he missing. Was, yeah. yeah. He's right. I think he was he's right in that like they're not safe and it's not a miracle. Yes. But I do think there are people that have I don't know, like six senses, like Kevin, like his dad, um, probably the guy that's up on that tower, and the old man. Virgil. Virgil. There's something about him. And Isaac. And Isaac, yep, because he sent something coming. I don't know if he was off by like telling him it was him, and then it happened to the daughter, Wait, or well, if like something is supposed. Said? He said something bad's gonna happen to you. Well, I mean, technically, I mean, technically that yeah. is, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You is like the most you, you is like your family, right? There's all sorts of like magical people. Yeah. What if Virgil also hears the voices and sees the people? Sees people in some way. He knew about her loss. About Nora. I mean, it could just be because she is Nora. Like Nora, I forgot her last name, you know, and people know about like the lady that lost everyone. Or it could also just be like... You're not from Miracle, and you're new to Miracle, so off the bat, you yeah. probably lost someone. People heard about you, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the way, like, he said it, though, felt kind of personal. Like, he knew. He was just like, I'm sorry for your loss. And it really, like, pierced her. Yeah, hearing that again. Um, I like the relationship that Erica and John have. I think Kevin can learn a little bit of that because he needs to do that with Nora and Nora is down like she can handle yeah. a lot and I think she will be more at peace knowing everything than this like weird thing that came into the yeah world. Pat even mentioned it like they got a nice little thing going on there John and uh Erica you said right mm -hmm. Erica. Erica he was like not like you like keeping things from Nora and I think that's one of the things he mentioned last episode that he needs to, or I think maybe a few episodes ago, that he needs to tell Nora about Patty and the voices and stuff. Yeah, 
she can you know what i mean like she can help him feel less alone and less like crazy you know if she, she seems like she'll be willing to hear him out and she can help him with the sleepwalking or blackouts or whatever the handcuffs i was i thought she was gonna i know they don't even have a bed frame i was like, like i thought she was just gonna tie him like from one arm but no she tied him to herself that's i feel bad for her me too that was really sad to see seeing her seeing her the way that she was this episode you know it just really makes it makes sense uh just how scared she is yeah the situation of him not being there like she really thought like that he was a poofer he was a poofer yeah <laughs> oh um, and joe again with the wisdom literally one line i really like joe this season yeah she's grown on me a lot yes and i don't know she's got some nice company with michael mm -hmm. and michael and, and evie are twins that's that too inside her huh that could explain why he, why he knew oh yes the connect that twin connection yes that yep. can explain that why he knows she's gone i was thinking maybe like he also has feet like some kind of intuition i mean it's possible he does that would make good for storyline because like john is like no there's no like people with, you <laughs> yeah. know he has a sign but it could be the twin thing. yeah we've always heard about this like connection thing that twins have going on that yeah. they just happen to know things yeah Right? Like when something happens, they know, they feel it, even if they're like the Probably. other side of the country or something. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have anything else for this episode. I can, I, I really like, at the beginning of the episode, I was kind of annoyed, like having Patty just like show up. But <laughs> she's fun. She can just talk. She's hilarious. She <laughs> I don't think I have anything else, do you? No. Yes. I think that's it. You sure? Yes, hopefully. All right. Well, if any of you have anything to add for this episode, just drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you think. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.